live. Well, not live, actually, it's going to be a day later. Morning. Good morning. Uh, right, we're at uh, Carrie again. Again. But it's light. There's, there's a sun. Well, there's a sun somewhere around the corner. <laughs> too early, too early. We're too early, yeah. Too, yeah. We're too early for the year, uh, yeah. We're nine hours too early. So, yeah, we're going to play nine holes, the back nine, which we haven't played since last year. So, looking forward to this. We've got Pat as well. We're going to be playing. Patrick. Patrick, we've got our friend here from uh, Dublin. Yeah. <laughs> Should we swap the bags up? I'll yeah. sit with you. Yeah. <laughs> The twelfth. Twenty's down there. Show the paint green, Andrew. What we did? I see your professional <laughs> camera. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank you. Somebody will follow you. Okay. Okay. So it's uh, tenth tee, tenth start, and uh, playing the back nine. So early morning. It's not even eight o'clock yet. Sun is just coming up. It's going to be nice playing this course in the day, so uh, looking forward to it. There we go. You take. Twelfth hole, what a lovely driving hole it's this is. This one, doesn't it? It's a tough hole, this one actually. It's, it's a little shorter hole. at 380, so we've decided to go off the backs, which makes it easy to hit a driver. Which one hit drivers? Hotel in the distance, you'll be seeing that later in the video. Clubhouse. And there's the back of the extraordinary 150 yard long putting green. And Patrick's walking up here to the black tees as well. He's probably thinking we're trying to con him by bringing him off these tees as well. And Andrew, driver at which, which light? Um, going on the left white tee marker. Left white tee marker, okay. that be that one there in the middle of the screen. left of it don't worry we made birdie from in there last week last year with uh, against Shields and Finch if you're watching remember that Five, three So check these shots out guys here, this pin was tucked out in the corner here, literally about four paces from the edge, loads of green to the right, we've come back from down there and we've hit it close, not sure who's is who's at the moment, That's in fact that one's Pierce's, that one's mine and Pat's just missed left, flag, that is. So yeah it's a good flag placement that is, show the viewers what you're made of. good <laughs> trying to just said there off camera this one is definitely in Pat's shaking his head disagreeing and so am I good luck Andy Thank you. give it a go turn off we're not going to look at him we're not going to show him anymore so we'll speak to me anyway it's a lovely golf course and um, recommend you play here so this is a uh, given. It's taken it away. <laughs> oh, well done, partner. <laughs> Boom. <laughs>
Yeah, beauty factory, that one. Beauty. So last hole here at Carrier, straight back up to the golf clubhouse. Good looking hole, tricky second shot to a raised green pace. Yes. Okay, let's have a quick look. Pretty much, to be fair, at that tree with a little bit of draw towards those bunkers. And then we're all, all the way to the top. You can see the flag on the left-hand side of the green. Good finishing hole. It's good. It'll work. Well played, guys. Well done. Well played. Well played. Cheers, Thank you very much. You enjoy that? A lot of fun. It was great, wasn't it? Great. That's the best way to wake up in the morning. None of this uh, staying out late nonsense. Could always do both. <laughs> Right, so we're just about to film um, the intro to uh, um, Rory McIlroy video where we've done the interview and then we've done a little bit of a um, talk about his golf swing. So a couple of tips for you guys based on what Rory said. So uh, yeah, we're just in the media centre area here where they do all the players' interviews later on. Yeah, it's actually very quiet, which is good because normally this place is heated. Give it an hour and a half. It's going to be ramo. I'm about to move in here, so we pick the right time. Look at that face. So we're just in the media centre. I'm not sitting next to him, I've had enough of him now, so I'm just sitting in front of him. Um, so just edited the video of yesterday's vlog and then we're gonna get on the course uh, as fast as we can really. So 20 past one now. See if I can get done by two o'clock and on the course for a few hours. Okay, so we're out on the golf course, uh, 13th hole, we have McElroy to the right, who's playing with Graham McDowell and Appy Barnrat. so um, looking forward to following these guys round, hopefully catch up with Richard Bland, see how he's getting on. Um, Pierce is just chatting to a guy we met last year here, um, who follows us uh, on YouTube and Instagram and all the rest of it, so good chatting and catching up with him. Sun cream on, out in the sunshine. What a great day. Hello. Hey, Andy. How are you? Good about you. Good to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my two favorite instructors on YouTube. There we go. <laughs> Me and my golf. You we haven't paid you to say that, honestly. You guys are bad. No, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not kidding. You guys are bad. Yeah, actually, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't got any money to give him. <laughs> okay, so we just watched McElroy play 13, par 5, driver. And then I think he had, he must have been a 5 iron or 4 iron. And took it over the trees. Drew it into the pin to about eight feet and then rolled it in for an eagle. So, um, amazing three on that par five. Um, and now we're going to go par three, 14th hole. G Max not too close. I'm going to go to the 15th to wait and see what they do. Hmm. So, Pierce is uh, taking a couple of snaps at Westwood, coming to the 17th. Interesting on the uh, par four, I think it was a 15. But McElroy, didn't know this, but McElroy lines his ball up off the tee, so draws a straight line. A lot of people do it for putting, but he does it for uh, driving as well. You're like the press, aren't you, today, Piers? Mm -hmm. You're enjoying yourself. Feel important. I don't. Great looking hole this last, isn't it? I don't get to see him hit the shot. I, I know, yeah. We want to feel. You can see him all day finish. Sorry, we can't bring you any footage of the golf today. We're just bringing you footage of me and Pierce. Um, it is good to watch. One thing that I always notice, Pierce, with the the, the best guys, don't they always look strong at setup? Mm. Westwood, Westwood looks like Westwood looks just really strong, lower body. Um, just looks strong, really good. He is a strong, strong guy, but you know, posture-wise, they're in a great position from the start, aren't they? Whereas uh, a lot of people, we see a lot of amateurs that we coach, 
posture lets them down and you know generally has an effect on the golf swing in some way. Get a good posture. Get a good posture, definitely. Gonna get it again. Okay, so we just watched McElroy birdie the last. Happy Barn rat, I think bogey the last off the penalty drop, didn't he? Yes. Penalty drop, bogey the last. Just missed out for the par. Still shot 66. Yeah. yeah, 15 under. I think 15 under is the winning score, or the leading score, should yeah. I say. From two, uh, one player, two people, I think. So we're going to head back now to the five past five. We're going to head back to the hotel, um, get a few things sorted, and then Maybe rugby, back World to the rugby World Cup. Rugby World Cup final. final. You'll know who will win by the time. You see New Zealand and Australia. Just a quick one. It's actually quite good. I was getting knowledge and wind tag by all of the other uh, photographers, and that's was like I was in the crew. Were you really? Right, should we go back? Okay, so back at the Titanic now. Great night there at the Max Royale, catching up with Mark and Coach Lockie. It was indeed. And had some fun there in the, uh, in the, hall. Was it the horse lounge or something. Yes. Something lounge, anyway. We uh, had Patrick dancing there and taking over the microphone. So, <laughs> um, yeah, great night and, and great win for the uh, New Zealand team. Yeah, fair play, fair play. Well done. So, right, uh, it's that time of night again. We've finished, ready to wrap it up. Pierce, we've got to finish with a quote. Your turn. Is it my what turn? is the really? quote we're going to finish with today? God. Right, very apt with the rugby. Losers quit when they are tired. Uh, winners quit when they have won. Losers quit when they're tired. Winners quit when they won. Yes, I okay. So obviously, Australia amazing, fantastic, but New Zealand were a league above and they quit when they won. There we go. There we go. Great right, quote. Right, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Last day at the Turkish Airlines Open. What a great week. Who's going to win? Post your comments down below. I think McElroy. I think Richard Bland after his swing analysis. Hmm, interesting. Right, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. See you later.